Well, hello, hello, peeps! Here I have a PvP rotational guide for the Enhancement Shaman in 10.1. We will be covering both builds, timestamps down below. I also counted for having the 2 set or the 4 set in these, so they are actually meant to be used with the tier set. We will start off with the sustained rotation or the core of the Lava Lash build. Ice Strike, Elemental Bast with 10 stacks, Frost Shock with all modifiers, Lava Lash, Storm Strike, Elemental Blast or Lightning Bolt with fewer than 10 stacks. Keeping up Flame Shock and of course Crafting Frost Shock in between. Something like this would be the priority. I know it's a hell of a thing to get used to, but it's the base of the build. Always try to have as many Flame Shocks running as they are reducing the CD and increasing the damage of your Lava Lashes. Now we come to the Mini Burst Rotation, or the 1-2 as I like to call it. This will be your main form of burst damage and the damage that you will consistently do. You want to make sure you have 10 stacks of Maelstrom, a Sundering, Ice Strike, a Wolves, Elemental Blast into Frost Shock, into Sustained Rotation. This is the main way you will do your damage and achieve kills, especially if you have any globals to crit. Main thing is having Wolves and Ice Strike prepared. You can even addition let Flame Shock stack your Lava Lash to have 3 globals that will all hit over 100k, even if you don't crit. Now the full burst rotation, the one that you'll do in the opener, you want to try and have Flame Shock on all 3 opponents. Use Wolves, Ice Strike, Primordial on the target that doesn't have Flame Shock, Thundering plus Shamanism, Lightning Bolt, Frost Shock into Sustained Rotation. With how fast your Flame Shock is ticking, if you get Flame Tongue procs, this means you're just spamming Lava Lashes till you get your next Maelstrom ability cast. Now we get to the Torums build, but before we do that, I do have to inform you that only 4.3% of you are subscribed. So if you have been enjoying the content, do consider smashing that subscribe button. So with the Torums build, the sustained rotation is very simple. If you have played Storm Strike build last season, everything is pretty much the same. I strike Lightning Bolt at 10 stacks, Storm Strike, Frost Shock, Lightning Bolt at fewer than 10 stacks. Other than that, try and keep Flame Shock and, you know, Wind Fury Totem up and, you know, casting Frost Shocks. This is the one button build, basically, as you just spam Storm Strike to do the main of your damage. And, of course, Lightning Bolt. Keep in mind that you get Maelstrom resets when you use Lightning Bolt, and you should react to those. The burst rotation, if you're using deep rooted elements, is also a piece of cake. Try and get a few Wind Fury procs if you can. Most games this will just happen naturally as you set up your burst. Also dropping your Wind Fury totem, thundering plus shamanism, doom winds, spam abilities that proc doom winds, storm strike, ice strike, crash lightning, lightning bolt to reset storm strike. Very simple. If you get lucky, it ends up being just storm strike all the way through. Now we come to the full burst rotation of the build with Ascendants, and it's really just adding Ascendants before the Doom Winds, and that's it. Pan Wind Strike, and not much to add. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I say, the most important thing is to get your damage down so you can focus on the game 100%. And I hope this helps, especially the people trying out the Lava Lash or the Elementalist build for the first time. Like, comment, subscribe, all those things the YouTubers want you to do, and have a nice day!